Let me show you how to make money fast in Star Citizen 3.14 with this Prospector's Mining Guide. I will be going over the new scanning mechanics as well as showing you my two very favorite spots to mine Quantanium. The first thing you're going to want to do when you go mining is to change out to a Lancet head, add a Stampede module, that will most definitely cut through the green faster. A surge will pump a whole bunch of power into the rock quickly, getting you to the green faster. And if you want to pick up a lot less of the inert materials, then go with an FLT XR module. For my quantum drive, I will either go with the Atlas, which I have equipped right now, or my very favorite drive, which is the VK00 when you're doing very short trips. For systems, I have a snowpack, a JS400, and a very large Palisade shield generator. The first mining location I'm going to show you is called the Aaron's Halo. We are currently at Crew L1 right now. In order to get there, we're going to need to plot to Arc L3 and drop out at exactly 12,500,000 kilometers. If you are a solo miner, this is a very good place to mine, as it is very hard for other players to drop right on your exact location. This is why I'm showing you this first, even though it's not as good as the second, just make sure to drop out at 12,500,000, as this location is the most densely populated area for asteroids in the Aaron's Halo. Once you have arrived on location, continue to fly for Arc L3. Pressing the tab button on your keyboard will send out a ping that will pick up any asteroid clusters in your area. If you press V, that will enter into scan mode and you will be able to scan the little bubbles that the pulse generated for you. A single rock will only bring back a 5000 RS signature. What you're looking for is a group of rocks. So if one rock is worth 5000, two rocks will be worth 10,000. Mostly you are looking for groups of rocks. Quantinium loves to spawn together in groups of two or in large patches of rocks together. Now that we have found some candidates, let's get a little bit closer to see if they are even Quantanium, and yep, they most definitely are Quantanium. You can tell visually by the rusty colored patches on the surface. Rocks out in the Aaron's Halo can only be up to 5,122 mass, so I generally do not mine anything under a 30% quantity of Quantanium within the asteroid itself. This ensures that I get a full load of Quantanium in the Prospector. Now I know I'm a bit late, but in order to pull out your mining laser, you press M on your keyboard. To control the mining laser's power, you're going to want to use your wheel up and wheel down. Make sure you're in the optimal range, as this puts the most heat into the rock possible. Time to use my modules. I am now going to pump a surge by hitting Alt F2, and immediately afterwards, I'm going to hit my stampede by pressing Alt F1. Once the rock cracks, you're going to notice that there is a yellow or a purple outline around the rock still. Yellows need to be cracked, purples are ready to scoop. The one thing you should always keep in mind when mining Quantanium, even if you have purples out, do not scoop them until you have all the yellows cracked down to purples themselves, then scoop everything at once. Quantanium is extremely volatile in its raw state, so the second that you start scooping, you're going to start a countdown timer, and when that timer runs out, well, if you don't get your ship stored in time, you are going to space die, your ship's going to blow up, and you're going to lose your load, so don't do that. Ah, the smell of fresh cracked Quantanium in the morning. If you're new to Quantanium Mining, let me show you the trick I like to use after cracking thousands and thousands of rocks. I like to wheel up, get the heat up to the top of the green bar, then immediately press my left mouse click. This puts me at a 0% beam, then I can wheel back up, get it to the top, left click again, get it down to a zero beam, wheel back up, get it up to the top of the green, left click, and so on until you crack the rock. This is the very best way to do this and you definitely need a lancet head to pull it off. To enter extraction mode, you just have to right click on your mouse. Now that I have every single yellow cracked down into purples, it is now time to scoop. I do not scoop any time before this moment. It is now a race against the clock. Let's quickly go over the pros and cons of mining out in the Aaron's Halo. The biggest pro is you're not going to run into anybody out here, so you're not going to have to worry about getting player killed. One con that happens to be a pro, well these rocks only spawn up to 5,122. They also break off into much larger purple pieces, which means faster scoop times. 
seeing as how it is a straight shot to the mining area and back using a VK00 really eases the fact that you are mining about 6.5 million kilometers away from the refinery. Speaking of refineries, another pro is that Crew L1 gives you a bonus to Quantanium when you process it there. It is also worth noting that you can only view your count time till critical clock when you have your mining laser out. If your red light is flashing and you're worried about blowing up, well hold your F key and press this button. It'll eject your cargo. When approaching the refinery, the very first thing you're going to want to do is hail. Now you can either land at that pad, get out of your ship, run all the way down, then store it, which will save your load. Or you can fly over to a nearby pad, then block it. What will happen is you'll get a 45 second countdown clock and it'll automatically store your ship for you. The only drawback is when you get back to your ship, you're going to have to fork out a $5,000 fine. But hey, we're dealing with over 200,000 in merchandise. And for me, I want to get this ship stored a lot faster instead of slower. You can either stand here and wait for the countdown clock to reach zero. It'll force spawn you inside or you can backspace kill yourself to Habs. This will get you to the refinery terminal much faster. Here we are at the refinement processing center. Let's get this stuff processed so we can make some space bucks. Holding down F and clicking on the screen will show you how many orders you have completed. As you can see, I have 42. I've been mining a lot today. It'll also show you how many orders you have processing currently. In order to set up your work order, you just need to select your location, click your prospector or mole, then set up your work order. From there, I like to either use Gaskin or Faron Exchange. Gaskin if I want it faster, Faron if I want it in about 14 hours. Once you have your method, make sure to select every single element you wish to refine by clicking the red toggle to orange. Press the get quote button and as soon as you do spam as quick as you can a whole bunch of left clicks. If you do it right, you might dupe this order. With great power comes great responsibility. We did file a bug report on this duplication exploit back in 313, but it does seem like it did carry through to 314. Let's hope that CIG gets this sorted because I just duped it three times. I am now going to show you a place that we fondly call the Motherland. It is in the R Corp system on Lyra SAL2. Once you drop out of Quantum, replot yourself to Sal 2. I always like to have this place targeted at all times. Now circle around until you find a patch of gray mountains, not the white mountains. You want the gray mountains. Now fly over in that direction. This section of the guide isn't so much about how to crack all the rocks because we've already been over that already. This is how to track down Quantinium in certain environments and it's all about topography. We are going to use the same method as we did in Aaron's Halo along with site finding. We're going to ping until we find at least a signature that is 10k or higher. Quantanium likes to spawn in either a group of two or in a large patch here on Lyra. So you are looking for anything over 5,000 as a signal. Stay near large groups of mountains as Quantanium itself loves to spawn just on the edges of mountains or outside on the flat plains near the mountains. Not so much on flat desolate areas. At this point, we are basically in the heart of the motherland, and there you go. That is a patch of Quantanium right there. I even know before I go up and check it. That's the really neat thing about 314 when you're out there prospecting. Your ship has a really large passive radius where it's going to pick up these patches of rocks. As long as you're within 4,500 meters, no rock can hide from you. Well, I'll save you the trouble on that. They all basically sucked and would not have given me a full prospector load without a bunch of hassle. Let's move on to something else. This is exactly why I love the motherland. I hardly had to go anywhere and I found a signal strength of 35,000. That is seven quantanium rocks ready for me to come check them out. So why is the motherland so good? Well, quite frankly, it is a chain of mountains that surrounds a nice flat area that is also surrounded by a big giant flat area. I mean, it is the perfect place to farm quantanium. The other thing that makes this place glorious is you have a wider range of rock sizes. You can have rocks up to 8.5k, not those little weenie 5.1k rocks out in the Aaron's Halo. You can have absolutely massive rocks that are multiple prospector loads just in one single rock. Oftentimes, I will swarm this area with my friends as well as have air support because this is a well-known location that I've put out there multiple times. 
There will be PKs at occasion, you need to be aware. This is a risk versus reward situation. This place pays out very, very well. So why do I like to mine here at Sal 2 over the Aaron's Halo? Well, it's quite simple, my dear Watson. It all boils down to topography, and Lyra has that in spades. As long as you understand risk versus reward, get in there, get out, be wary of player killers, you're gonna love this area. Oftentimes, I always come here with friends just to ensure my back is covered while I'm mining up all that juicy goodness. When mining here, I highly recommend you use the VK00 for your quantum drive. Although it is not a straight shot like the Aaron's Halo, it is much closer. The drawback is you're going to have to drop in and out of quantum drive, and when you do that, you're going to want to have to do that quickly. So get the VK00. It's the fastest military drive you can buy. Time to flex the finger clicker. You know, I probably wouldn't even do this anymore if I didn't have so many daggone deserving noobs that joined our Discord channel and just want to fly ships that are actually half decent. By the power of my clicker finger, I compelled that one single order of Quantanium to turn into nine orders. Yep, please get this fixed, CIG. No matter what size ship you currently fly to deliver your orders, you are going to want to know this little handy bit of information that is going to keep your orders safe from any 30k crashes that you might experience while playing the game. Before you ever leave your hangar or your pad, always plot your course to your cell location. Do not do this out in space. On this run, I will be going to Area 18, which is only a hop, skip, and a jump away from Arc L1. As soon as you lift off and start flying out of your hangar, immediately start spooling your drive. Fly about 5,000 meters away, then immediately contact them again for a landing pad. In the event of a 30k crash to your desktop, what will happen is when you reload the game, the game will fall back on your last ship's known location and that is where your hail comes in key. Once you get confirmation of your landing pad, you are now free to engage your quantum drive and go immediately to your cell location. Rest assured, if you do experience the rare 30k bug at the worst time when you're moving a bunch of cargo, don't worry, your ship's still going to be at the space station when you log in. That's what's glorious about this. Once you get to your cell location, immediately hail. This creates a new copy of your ship, so if you experience another 30k at this little tiny window, your ship is saved. Just make sure that you don't crash into the freaking ground, because crashing and blowing up doesn't protect you. Let's get this massive ship to fit into the tiny hole. We're gonna get all this loot sold really quick, but first, time to go down with the ship because it's way faster to spawn at the Habs than it is to ride the train all the way there. Now I guess I could have flown all the way out to Crew 1 and loaded up my C2 there with a complete and total load of Quantanium, but I had all these daggone cheeseburgers here loaded up, so I might as well just show you this one. It's gonna actually be a pretty daggone good load, as you can see. Mm-hmm. Now that you know where to go and how to deliver your cargo safely, it only boils down to you getting half decent at prospect or mining, meaning keeping it in the green, cracking the rocks right, scooping them up at the end, and getting to the cell location as quickly as possible. Now, if you can learn how to do that, you're going to have more money than you know what to do with. You're going to be able to buy every single ship that you want in this game. You're going to have a lot more fun playing this game. So I hope this prospect or mining guide helped you. If it did, please like, comment, and subscribe.